Hello and welcome back to Subsistence. We are under attack. We are indeed under attack. Okay, I need to find out where they are. I can hear them. I think they're this side, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Come on, bear. Come and sort them out, will you? Oh, bear's got him for me. Okay. Trouble is now, I've got a level 4 bear outside, so that's not ideal. Um, hmm. Okay, anyway, welcome back to Subsistence. <laughs> that was kind of interesting, wasn't it? He's going to hang around that bag for ages, isn't he? I should get out there and kill the bear, really, but he's going to damage the base. It would be a good source of food. Well, maybe he'll move off enough uh, spaces. For me to just nip out there and get that bag. I think he might. So, one hunter come into attack. Interesting, very interesting. I wonder where he came from. Uh, hmm. Oh, here we go, he's coming back. Will he even notice me on here? I just want to hop off here, grab that bag and go back inside, but he looks determined to hang around, doesn't he? We could hop off down here, <laughs> just sneak underneath. Uh, he's moved off enough spaces now, I think, for me to just go over here and grab this bag. Oh, I think I uh, woke up the bear there. I'd love to get that arrow that's sticking out the front door. Well, that was cool. At least the uh, hunter engaged with the bear. <laughs> Excellent, okay. Uh, so what have we got to put away? Just a couple of bits and pieces. Let's do that now. Um, and then we should make sure that we have enough food and water on us and then we'll head out and go and do some looting. Uh, I've got two lockpicks on me. I'll take that water now. I'll grab a bit of food from the fridge. Just going to crawl because of that bear right outside. Uh, we've had a liver, um, we'll have a tomato, and I think we're good to go. I'll put that away. I've got a bottle of, uh, bottle of berry water on me. Uh, I just want to top the fire up, and um, I just want to see if I can get back to it in time. Without the, uh, without the fire going out. So, it's fully fueled now. Let's see how long that lasts. Okay, let's get a bit of distance and we'll have a look around us. So, it wasn't our Charlie base because I can see a hunter over there. I think that must have been Bravo. The direction that he came from, although I didn't see initially where he came from. Let's go and have a look over here. See if it's any of these guys. Because we've got quite a good view across the water here. Uh, nope, there's a hunter sitting in the water there. Sitting around the campfire. So I don't think it was him. So I think that was Bravo then. So Bravo should be a safe bet to go and have a snoop around. Maybe they uh, left one of their 
one of their guys behind. But we'll go and have a look. I think it'll be uh, an interesting experiment. Avoid that bear there. I was going to say, do I want that piece of ore? But I don't think I do. Okay, let's get a feel for where these hunters are and where we can see them from safely without engaging who may be left behind. So... They should be over here on this peninsula so maybe look from here aha right in front of us okay so I can see a campfire there's a door which is encouraging but why was the only one hunter? Uh, okay, we've got a crate there. That wolf's coming over. We'll leave the crate for the moment. We're not desperate for goods. Right, uh, let's look from up here. This is a good vantage point. Now, do we think that the other hunter is away from the base? Fishing, maybe. That would be um, interesting. We're standing here pounding on the door. Oh my god, yes! There's a hunter. Did you hear him? Is he inside his base, maybe? Oh my gosh. Right, okay. I just automatically ran then, but perhaps I should have uh, stood my ground. He sounds like he's inside, doesn't he? Now that's really, really interesting. Let's just go back and have another look, because we can kind of see into the top of the uh, the base from here. No, I can hear. I can hear footsteps. Oh, this is freaking me out. Is he in his in his base? Oh my gosh. Right. Okay. Let's um Yes! There he is! Oh, I did not know they did this. Oh my gosh. He's, he's, run, he's running around. He's, tra he's trapped inside his base. If he stood... Oh my god, headshot! That's cool. Oh, what a shame. He was a sitting duck, wasn't he? Initially, when I heard those um, footsteps, um, my first thought was, oh Christ, I forgot to uh, check for um, claymores. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's inside his face. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, okay, we've got to get inside now and have a look. Now, this pickaxe is going to wear down, isn't it? Oh my god, look how quickly that goes. Oh, that's not good. Oh, how many shotgun shells have I got? 20. Okay, what I've got is I've got quite a few pistol rounds. 
which I'm not too bothered about. This is really, really mixing things up. My god, this is going to take an age to get through. What if I don't have enough equipment to make another pickaxe before we get through the door? Oh my god, I've only got seven rounds. I've got no rounds left. Um, Oh wow, this, this is really different. Ten. I can I can afford. Right, okay, I'll reload and I'll finish the rest of that off with the um with the axe. Oh my god, how cool is this? I'm very excited, I must say. So one guy came to raid on his own and the other one stayed behind inside the base. So the bases are occupied whatever, whichever time they are. Oh no, I've let him free. He's respawned. Wow. Um, no, isn't that interesting? I'm going to get this and I'm going to scarf her. Wow. Good job I left myself some uh, shotgun. Oh. That sounds like their fire's... Um, their fire's burning some meat, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, wow. Um. That's so cool. And also quite scary. Come on. Hurry up and cook. I don't want to be hanging around here when they respawn. So I killed him with an arrow, got his bag, he respawned while I was outside, knocking on the door. Hmm, that seems a bit odd. I'm just keeping an eye out in case he respawns again. <laughs> That could be a way of farming bags, couldn't it? Just stand at the door. Yay! Okay, we'll have that as a celebration. Oh, right, okay. Interesting day. I'm glad I found that out. Um, we should probably try and get a lot crate now. Uh, we're going to need the ammo. Uh, we're going to get a return raid. And I've used an absolute bunch of my uh, of my ammo. Getting through that door, I'm going to have to start making grenades, which is fine. Now I know. I can't afford to waste all of that trying to just get through a door, and then have to kill two hunters inside. <laughs> That really freaked me out though at the beginning with the footsteps um, and I could hear him inside his base. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Um, yeah, I might switch to this just because I've got more ammo for that right, right now, with me at least. I'm okay running around here, aren't I? Yeah. In the excitement, I forgot to keep an eye on my uh, surroundings. Oh, that was so cool though. I'm glad I captured that actually. Oh my god, that big huge base, that fortress is going to be incredible to take on. Single-handedly at least. It will be fun as hell in co-op I'm sure, but single-handedly 
My goodness. I prefer to um, fight from a distance, up close and personal like that. It's not my forte. I tend to panic. I mean, it went quite well. I didn't get too badly injured, just a bit of bleeding, but um, could have come badly wrong. Not much of a risk taker, to be honest. That was so cool. I can't wait to watch that back, actually. So I wonder if there are three hunters at that base, but for some reason only two of them were sort of active. The one that came to raid me and then the one inside the base, um, because there wasn't room for two to be in there. And when I opened the door, maybe the third one spawned in. Not too clear about that just yet. So I'm just making the most of having this area free, just to check for lot crates and that sort of thing. It's not looking too good though. It's quite empty around here right now. It's possibly a little bit early in the day. Um, we could probably do a bit of hunting. That was a nice arrow shot on that first hunter though, eventually. You can see why they have such good success. Um, when we're fighting them in co-op from inside their base you really are a sitting target because um, everybody's packed into sort of a small area you really only need to lob an arrow in there and you're going to hit something and if you do it at the right height you're going to get a headshot so that really um, has helped me to see you know why that's been happening so often Oh my god, it really changes things up though, having them indoors like that. So good. Right, okay, let's uh, grab a bit of loose and we'll go back and we'll stock back up on ammo. I would love to get a lock crate right now, but I don't know. I don't see it happening. I can't go too far over to the left there because of the uh, other set of hunters. Um... Yeah, they're just right there, so he could be down here. And I've forgotten about him out being out fishing as well. This is quite dangerous, me running around like this. He could very easily walk over here to fish. Yeah, let's get some, let's get some ammo. That was incredible though, really good. Really enjoyed that. That fortress is going to be a formidable challenge. Used up all of my pistol ammo. I think I've got a bunch back in here anyway. It'll free up some storage space if nothing else. There's a deer over there. Okay. Right, ammo. Um, so we're fully loaded, so I think I'll, if I just take 20, I'm going to find more. Um, and then we'll need some pistol. So I think we'll split that in half, we'll take 25 with us. Um, we'll put the rest of this stuff away. Uh, oh, let's butcher and cook you. Okay, the fire is about halfway done, so that's good. Good to know. And the uh, generator's gone off. Oh, we're fully stacked on um, on nails. That's good. Um, you and you in here and here, and then we've got that. I should, yeah, probably do this glass. Let's have both of you. We'll have a normal water, I think. Um, yep. And then we'll have that bit of rabbit and we'll, we'll be good to go. Eventually. 
Should I top the fire up again? Yep. Eat you. Drop you in there. Right, how are we off for lights? Oh god, it's level 4 bear. That's the bear that helped me out there with the uh, hunter. Do we want to swim across there or is it a bit late? It's not too bad. We've got, we've got a little bit of time. I think um, let's take the sprint off because it doesn't help you with the swimming. Let's have a look how these guys are doing across the water. Wow, that looks quite substantial. <laughs> I'm quite scared to get over there. So Alpha, which is what I'm pointing at now, should, in theory, they'll, they'll definitely have a door. They should, in theory, have a crate. Bravo didn't, now you know that, but there will be somebody inside. So there's a poor hunter sat in there 24-7. I hope his friend. I wonder if they open the door and go inside. Because, you know, they've got to eat. According to the new rules. I wonder if they go inside and feed their uh, comrade. That would be really cool. You see him walking in and outside, in and out the building. Okay, we'll have a very quick look along here for a lock crate. There is a bear chasing a deer into the water over here. Oh dear. Oh no, it's a wolf. Oh gosh, they're coming this way. Okay. Eyes on the prize. Let's stick to trying to get a... Uh, oh gosh, no. It's going to have to be some ore, I'm afraid. Look at all this here. Oh, look at the axe. That's another thing I need to remember. Take a spare axe with me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother jumping for that. Uh, okay. Any crates over there that we can see? No. So we'll have a look up here then, behind these rocks. It's always a good spot. Anything here? No. No. Anything on the hill? Is that a bit of iron there? I think it is. Yep. Yes, yeah, so take a, a spare pickaxe with you if you're going to stand and chop on the door. I think it's to encourage you to use the, um, the grenades, which makes sense. But of course, grenades and the um, breach and charge all take uh, gunpowder. And uh, if you're growing plants, a lot of fertilizer is being used on the plants. But fertilizer is also needed for making gunpowder. So uh, every resource, as far as I can see now, is just in incredibly valuable. Um, okay, it's looking quite empty around here. Just go a little bit further up. It's quite a good view from up here. I think this would be a lovely um, place just here for a base, actually. Uh, right, we've got rogues. I don't know how far over their camp is. Oh, it's up there. Okay. So they could conceivably be over this side of the river, actually. They do roam quite far. Hmm. If I stay where the animals are, there's a less chance of there being a rogue, so... There's a wolf in the river there. We know there's a couple of animals down here. Yep, bear and a, and a wolf. No, no sign of any crates. Um, I'll just do a quick check along the um, along the fence line, looking down the terrain. 
because that's usually a, the best way to spot them. And then I think we probably ought to head home because uh, one raid has uh, already been in. There's a good chance we'll get the uh, the other today as well. Ah, animals. Uh, can we sneak past this wolf, do we think, or...? Yeah, we'll just take it steady. We'll go behind him. Ah, oh, nice, we have to get that through the uh, fence. Well, I know I've said it before, but that was quite a surprise, having that hunter <laughs> sat in the... Uh, in the base like that and then that second one appearing just as I uh, got the door open it really did look like he just spawned in there and then in my eyes which is kind of cool it's good to witness let's have a look at what's going on here right okay So their BCU is on the outside wall there. I think that's just above the um, the sights there. He looks like he's going up and messing with the BCU. That's cool. Okay, we've got a bit of a swim back, so we better head back over there. Uh, yeah, we may as well do it from here. Shame we didn't find a, a lot crate. Now I can see a hunter just there at the mouth of the river. He is incredibly tiny on my screen so I doubt that that's going to come out on um, YouTube but to my eyes it looks like he is fishing. He's running around on all the rocks and everything. I wonder if he's making his way over here or something. He could be. He could be puffing. Head above water. Don't drown. It's not that bad. It's pretty cool though. I really enjoyed today. Would have liked to have got some more loot, but... They can't all be great loot days. Okay. This lovely light here again. We've got our level 4 bear still in uh, residence. We've got a crate here. Quite a few plants dotted about. Yeah, we'll grab these before the, the light disappears. And we'll just have a quick uh, gawk at our neighbours. Ah, there he is. Look, he's fishing. Can you see? Right on the... Um, I think number three has got the best zoom. There he is. Thank you for that. That's a pretty nice shot. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Uh, crumbs. Right, okay. Oh, he's in the reeds now. There's another campfire up there. That's the uh, the road camp just by my faceplate there. There he is. Let's see what he does. He's squatting in the river now. Wow, this game is just, it just gets better and better. Oh, he's making wood chopping um, movements uh, miles away from the tree. I know he's squatting down. Sorry, I'm just taking so many photographs. Okay, we better get back indoors. Doesn't look like he's coming over, so we should be fine. Get the shotgun out just in case that bear wants to say hello. 
on this crate here. Should we try and get that? I can't hear the bear. Has my fire gone out again? Imagine having to creep up to your own base because there's a bear. I suppose that's uh, understandable. <laughs> okay. Fire, how are you? You're fine, yeah, okay. Uh, good and good. And we've got a little bit more iron, so that's awesome. Uh, six and four. And we've got plenty of power. And we'll pop this glass in here. We've got 26, so we could make some more windows, but they are quite expensive. Um glass windows. We need three panes. So that's not as bad as I thought, but still. Anyway. Um, okay. How are we off for food? Yeah, we could eat. Go and get a tomato. Uh, but yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. That was so much fun. I really, uh, I really loved that. We, uh, we did, uh, we had our first raid, helped out by a bear, and we, uh, went and had a look at their base and took out two hunters inside so that was really good uh, so until next time thank you so much for joining me take care and i'll see you again soon bye for now